Good morning, this is November Oscar II Charlie Whiskey and uh, uh, today I will do a little uh, uh, demo of uh, getting uh, my Elecraft KX2 to work with Ham Radio Deluxe. On the internet you'll have some s somewhat scattered information on getting the KX2 to work with uh, um, FLDG and um, Win Warbler, Warbler, if I can say that. Um, but uh, um, it's mostly based on experience with the, uh, the KX3. And uh, um, today I'll try to see if I can apply that same information to the KX2. Number one, uh, you will see the KX2 connected to an external antenna. And on this side, um, I'm using the um, CAT cable that came in a kit. Uh, the kit is made for the KX3, of course it fits the KX2. Um, you can make your own audio cables, they're 3.5 to 3.5 cables, um, but um, K, um, Elecraft sells that in a kit and I just got those. So they're basically the headphones and the uh, microphone jack and then the command cable. Uh, on the other side, they're fed into a uh, USB sound card and this is a $6 sound card that I got from um, eBay or Amazon, don't remember where. Uh, and uh, um, in addition to that, on the other uh, USB side, I have the command um, side of, uh, of the cable. So this is my setup. There's a lot of other tweaking and other um, elements that go with this setup. And um, I will just try to uh, demonstrate uh, um, how the software works first, and then we'll get Number into one it. is the traditional waterfall view. And uh, in this case, it's a pretty nice waterfall view that comes out of the KX2. Uh, and that's through the uh, audio feed. Uh, pretty, pretty clear, uh, pretty clear cut and nice and distinctive uh, waterfall features. And uh, if you give me a second, I will try to run a CQ. Um, probably find a clearer place. Um, please excuse the, uh, the massive reflection that I have from my uh, laptop screen, but the sun here in the morning in, in Florida is uh, pretty intense and there's just no, no place to hide from it. Um, let's see if we, can, um, if we can call CQ here. And uh, um, I have routed the sound into my speakers and unless you do that, uh, um, then you, you wouldn't be getting any sound. You have to specifically uh, route the microphone of the external sound count to the laptop speakers. And um, the shape is pretty distinct um, uh, uh, on the waterfall. I'm not sure how uh, good of an indication this is on the on the Ham Radio Deluxe screen itself. I think you truly need another receiving station to evaluate how clear the the signal is. Uh, there's a lot of settings that come into play. The uh, uh, the speaker play signal that comes out of the sound card, the microphone settings on the side of, uh, of the KX2. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, variables there to affect the quality of the signal. One thing that you can compare it to, if you can run the uh, internal KX2 um, mode PSKD, that one is already optimized and if you're running that one, uh, you will you, you are sure to get a pretty nice uh, lab quality, pretty much uh, distinct shape of your PSK31 signal uh, because that one has been evaluated and, and uh, um, designed by a manufacturer. The, the drawback of that is if you're running PSKD directly from the KX2, you're in pretty good shape if you're calling CQ, but if you're trying to answer someone else's CQ due to the lack of waterfall, the tuning features there, the, the zero beating, although there's some uh, help there, it works okay for CW, but for digital modes, you may, you, you may have trouble tuning uh, and zero beating on, on a PSK31 signal. I tried it and um, I made a few contacts, but every single time the person on the other side told me that I'm off by um, a few hertz. Luckily, they have a waterfall view and they can detect my signal that I'm, that I'm uh, slightly off 
uh, the, the, the channel where I need to be or the exact frequency. Um, but if you are, um, if you're not in that situation, that, then unless it's a really, really strong signal, you will be, um, chances are you will be slightly off. So that's one of the drawbacks of using the uh, internal reader. And, and same goes for the terminal view that you can get into the uh, KX2 utility. So um, I'm calling two CQs here and uh, I'll see if I can get a, um, an end-to-end -end QSO, but that's just to demonstrate the um, um, the CQ functionality, it does trigger the transmit. Um, just FYI, using five watts of power and uh, calling in the last uh, on and off in the last um, hour or so while I was adjusting my settings. This is what PSK Reporter had to show for my signal. This is with uh, five watts of power using Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, the signal is fed into a dipole antenna. The feed, pole, uh, the feed point of the dipole is about 20 feet uh, above the ground and the sides of the dipole slope down quite a bit. Um, they, they're probably at about a 90 degree angle. So uh, less than optimal uh, uh, dipole uh, situation here. But uh, um, I was able to articulate these signals and I got quite a few hits from PSK Reporter. And uh, um, as you can see, there's, a, uh, there's an answer to my CQ and uh, it's very difficult for me to do um, a couple of things at the same time because I did not bring my little tripod. But uh, um, I should be able to, um, to do a reply and, uh, and conduct a, a, normal, um, a normal QSO here. Okay, so I had a quick uh, QSO with uh, John from Daytona Beach, uh, not too far from my location, as you can see, that's probably him that popped up down there uh, uh, detecting my signal on PSK Reporter, but I, I also did get the uh, reception um, uh, hits from, uh, um, I mostly get them from the, uh, up the east coast, and every now and then I have a path towards the west, uh, mostly Texas, uh, sometimes all the way into uh, California. And uh, this is with my dipole, of course, I'm um, thinking of uh, making a better, uh, better antenna here, but I'm very limited in space. So this is just a quick demo to show you that uh, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe can talk to K, uh, the KX2. It is possible, it's, it's a little tricky, but once you set it up, uh, it works very well. And the key here is uh, I was trying to achieve that uh, without an external uh, modem, such as a signal link and an external additional uh, a card. Why? Because th this would be a very uh, good setup for a portable um, operation. For example, you can get a Windows um, tablet or, or a very small computer with a nice uh, keyboard, uh, seven or eight inch one, uh, set up Ham Radio Deluxe on it and, have all, and operate portably, um, all with the benefits of a waterfall, which makes a big difference in, uh, in my opinion. 
And uh, the KX2 by itself is a great radio, of course, but for digital modes, uh, the waterfall it, it just opens up a whole new world as compared to uh, just um, uh, dialing in in a traditional method. And um, carrying one of those seven or eight inch uh, $50 Windows uh, uh, tablets can, can really open up a, a whole world of, uh, of fun and, and uh, interesting connections that you can make um, uh, while on the road or traveling or being portable. So um, I will try to summarize my settings. Um, all in all, in this equipment here and in this connection, uh, there's um, less than $30 worth of uh, parts and equipment, and uh, the rest is just uh, uh, tricking the settings to, uh, to match and produce a, a nice uh, communication between the radio and, uh, um, and the computer or the laptop. So thank you for uh, checking out this video. Uh, I will try to uh, set up a separate uh, video or a separate document where I, I will describe my settings uh, if you're interested in replicating this, uh, this functionality on your site. Thank you again. This is November Oscar II, uh, Charlie Whiskey saying 73.